So I wanted to make a quick video of where I'm at right now. I've got one up there that I posted, um, but one of the things that I liked about this was how simple it was. And my, don't mind my wiring, I'm not going to show that because it's hideous, but it works. Um, but I'm kind of taking Painless 360's idea. One of the things that I thought was important on mine was to have the the transmitter on a side pod, but you know what, I think about it, and he had his shoved up in there. The nice thing about this is that big piece on there is um, a heat sink. It's kind of heavy too, and I, you know it's it's going to work out good right there, uh, going out to the side, and that gets rid of the gimbal and a lot of complexity. And this little CMOS camera works pretty good. I actually have a a Run Swift, I think they're called, coming, so that should take away a lot of the uh, supernova effect from Horizon uh, line um, when this thing goes up and down. But the little cool part is, part of this was this Wi-Fi uh, camera, and you know it, it worked okay. It's nice to keep on hand, but if you just kind of cannibalize it, uh, everything comes down to the mount. But this little thing, you want to never really destroy the actual model if you can. You always want to be able to go back to originality. So what's going to be nice about this is I can actually just use some uh, pull ties and uh, mount this sucker on there. Um, and that should be uh, something that I'm going to do shamelessly, um, do a painless 360 ripoff. I hope he's okay with that.